The Pumps and Noses DLC has gotten an update, and to say that the changelog is a little bit long might be the biggest understatement of the century. Don't worry, I've actually picked it apart and put everything in order, so it'll be nice and easy to understand. But first things first, we need to talk about some new things that have been added to this DLC. We got some really cool stuff here. For example, we now have the Shaldon Gigant G425 and the G415. We've got the new brand Galmer and Hummel. We got some new hoses. And of course, you can't forget about the Lizard Wing staging container. Never. And we've also got a new radius visualization for fermenters and manure separators, as well as disconnection feature with sandbox placeables or placeables in the game. First, let's take a look at some of the new goodies that we've got. So we're going to jump into mods, DLCs, pumps and hoses, and we're going to start right here with the G415. This, is, well, it's massive is what it is. 700 liters of fuel on board. It says five mile per hour max speed, but you can ignore that. Uh, 15,000 liters. That's going to be for slurry digestate and a little bit of water as well. If you want to throw that in there, we also have 16 ton weight. It is very heavy and it will also power up to 25 500 meters which is really incredible you've got the platform on the back if you guys want to add that we've also got an attacher type yes or well one or two really and then we also have the reel on the back if you guys want to add an option for holding any more hose that's not it because we also have the larger version as well kind of the same overall it weighs 20 tons instead of 16 it holds 25,000 liters all together we can also hold a slurry digest 8 water platform on the back yes you can add that of course the attacher types on the front are going to be exactly the same and you can add a reel on the back if you want to and just in case you've forgotten those platforms on the back are for this little guy the water pump we've had that though so don't worry about that what we have not had are the Gomer and Hummel hoses for heroes we've got some new hoses in here new brands now I don't think there's really anything brand new that's been added capacity is 100 200 300 400 and 500 just like before and we have a very similar color palette now it has been a little while since I've used the hoses from pumps and hoses so let's go over to the hoses that we've got in the game oh no hang on i think they have removed them okay so uh the new hoses that we've got i guess are the ones that we're gonna have forever nice something else added was the small weighing stations we're gonna take a look at it go into buildings jump into tools and here you will find it the pumps and hoses weighing station place it down and we'll check it out it's really just a weigh station at the end of the day so Come on here to weigh whatever you've got uh, from one side to the other, and you're good to go. Now, something else they've done is they've added the radius visualization to fermenters and manure spreader. So we'll jump into productions and we'll grab ourselves a fermenter. And we can see all the way around. You actually see the circle from the other fermenter that I've added. What this will do is anything inside that circle that is placed, it will work with, which is really cool. Actually, I can't boom out far enough to show you the entire circle, so I'll just have to show you in an area around. This doesn't show in the game, and unlike the pivots that we showed off a few days ago, yeah, it's not going to say anything either. But it is nice that they are all here. Now, they've also added these to manure separators as well. Is that, is that what those are? Thought, thought like one of these things. Anyway, moving on. Ah, yes, 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 yes. So this manure separator right here. So these little guys, make sure that they are at least uh, somewhere close by to these right here. Also, uh, there was an update or part of the update today that makes these a little bit easier to manage. Now, let's say, for example, you've got one place down. I got this guy right here, but I really don't want it to be part of this BGA. What I can do is I can click on it and I can actually disconnect. This gives me the opportunity to, uh, well, disconnect so now it's not connected to to anything actually <laughs> and then we can click it again and we can reconnect just like so now my question would be can i add another one in a different area and make them connected well let's find out let's place this over here and now i could choose which one i wanted to be connected to number one or number two so can you do that? Absolutely. Yes, you can. All right, so let's go down more additions that they made to the DLC. They say they've added a compressor function to the G400, but um, it uh, well, it's brand new, so I'm not sure why that needs to be in there. They also say they've added more light sources to this, which, again, 
This is brand new. They've also added circulation to the water pump. And if you're asking me what that means, uh, I'm not quite sure. We've also got other things as well, like added missing translations, added validation and distance checks of trigger objects, and remove trigger from being in range when the node entities are removed or if the placeable is deleted. Also, disallowance of detaching the reel when the reel is active, added production updating every hour, which is great, and added source rendering and manure separator. But that's all the new additions. Now we've got changes. So they've increased the placeable separator distance chunk, changed the shout and G400 Udem inside the tank. Again, that's a, a brand new piece of equipment. Doesn't need a change log. They also changed the nitrogen amount of separated manure. They improved the SP-12-2060 thing, attacher height, reduce the synced wheels of shout injectors, and remove separator, adding to storage system. Fixes, on the other hand, are a little bit oof level. Ouch. Uh, there's a lot of stuff through here, uh, so sit back and relax. Grab something to drink. Uh, fix the G400 electric connector and clipping water plane. Fix the water pump icon. Fix fermenter and manure silos clear area. Fix translations PL and ES and apostrophe in name, fix soft lock of water pump when in range of trigger objects. Fix G400 bounding box issue, required power and collision. They've also fixed the G400 hose attachment rotation. Fix the G400 pricing and weights. Fun fact, uh, the, the G400 brand new. I don't think we'd need the those stuff. Anyway, moving on. Fix mobile separator stability. Fix G400 potist collect or collision. I have no idea what a potist is, so let me know if you know. Fix the JC450 decals flickering. Fix the AC115 icon rotation, G400 pulley animation, water plane. Again, we don't need these. This is a brand new piece of equipment. Fix the call stacks in the game close with running separator. Fix lizard wing station AO bugs. Fix JC450 pumping from placeables. Fix the nil call soft lock on water pump 0051609, whatever that is. Fix the AI helper selection storage. Fix nil call of nearest replaceables. Fix AI helper purchasing separated manure. Fix helpline. UV input, fix visualization, ring farm ID rendering, fix hoses not being in range when a farm is contracting from another farm, fix pump condition stuttering, decal Z flight moving on, fixed rounding issue and sandbox utilization page, fix multiple bunker distribution, all bunkers now distribute at the same time, and fixed merging production point effects not turned on. Three more to go, fix the unknown distribution mode error, fixed manure separator using on contracted farms, and fix Fix smaller UDIM and shading issues on SBC 1230 and PU300. Oi. So there you go, guys. That is your changelog for pumps and hoses. This is version 1.3 of the mod. If you are curious, I hope you enjoyed the video. Get subscribed if you are a new, and see you guys later. Peace.